the world is upside down, uh, William. But speaking of upside down, I, I found the mood, and I want to talk to you because you live in Ottawa and you know the city uh, far better than I do. But we were there for the entire Dominion Day weekend, and um, it didn't feel like a celebratory occasion. It didn't feel festive. The reason for that, of course, was that there was just law enforcement everywhere. There were uh, airport-style security set up in order to get on the actual uh, hill of Parliament Hill. Mm -hmm. um, no bylaw infraction was too small for these guys to clamp down. I think this was um, basically a politically motivated message. This was the Justin Trudeau liberal saying, you see what we're doing for you, people of Ottawa? We are going to make sure that those deplorables that are part of the Freedom Convoy are not going to ruin your lives. They're not going to park their trucks. They're not going to erect tents or bouncy castles, uh, for that matter. What was your take on what we all witnessed that weekend, Bill? You, you, Bill, <laughs> that nickname, man, David, cracks me, cracks me up every time. Um, you forgot one thing in the thing that you enumerated. You forgot the Canadian flag because I know people yes. don't believe me. People don't believe Rebel News. But the day before we, you arrived here in Ottawa, Ontario, I went in front of Parliament. I spoke to a police officer in French and I asked him, is it possible to enter the hill? And he told me. Yes, you can, but we're going to make sure to patch you down before, once again, in French. And then I said, oh, okay. And he said, yeah, we want to make sure you don't have a flag. We translated the full thing. I have it on tape recorded. A parliamentary security mall cop told me <laughs> that you're not allowed to bring a flag on the hill on the day that you're supposed to celebrate the Canadian flag. Justin Trudeau is vilifying those people. He's making them seem like they are the, huge, the, the biggest evil people in Canada when I believe that the evil people are actually sitting inside the parliamentary building and they are asking their parliamentary protective security guards to accost reporters that they don't like and to not allow reporters to enter the hill when they feel uncomfortable. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, William, that uh, it was very arbitrary how they were uh, applying the rules. On the first day we got there, uh, Maurizio and I tried to get on Parliament Hill going through the airport security. This is outdoors, by the way. It's, we're not in any kind of building. And um, the officer got her supervisor there. And basically, because we were filming the area, uh, they wanted to go through our cameras and our phones, go to the photo library and... Um, determine which videos they found to be offside, in which case they were going to permanently delete them. Oh, and I bro. thought, you know, I mean, 10 years ago, I went to the uh, demilitarized zone in North Korea, and it, got, <laughs> it was nowhere near as bad as that. And I got into a conversation with the, the female constable, and I said, I heard this incredible rumor, you can't bring Canadian flags on the hill. And she said, no, no, you can bring a Canadian flag. It's just the other flags. And I said, you mean like uh, We the Fringe or yeah. F. Trudeau? And she said, yeah, those would be banned, obviously. And I thought, obviously? why would you ban them? And she says, well, why wouldn't you ban them? And I said, well, I don't know, freedom of expression. And mm -hmm. and then I said, you know, another flag that's very in vogue these days is the flag of Ukraine. Would that be banned? And William, she actually said, that's a very good question. I'll have to check. So they don't even know uh, what they're doing. But let's talk about some other things, Bill. Uh, we saw... Um, uh, street preachers being shut down. We saw a guy who was just handing out free religious li li literature. He was told to keep moving or face a big fine. And then you were with me when we went to the Liberal Party of Headquarters office and we tried to deliver the petitions, free Tamara Leach and fire Marco Mendicino. And their, um, their police officer security said this would be impossible. William, Delivering a petition that's a time-honored tenant of a, uh, of a of a democratic system. But right now, the Justin Trudeau liberals, they don't want to even hear any kind of consternation from the commoners. What did you make about that? Of, cor of course, David, they don't want to hear that. It is impossible. Impossible. It's impossible, <laughs> exactly. That's, that's the choice of words that they used to, that they used to choose. It is impossible to bring sheets of papers to a liberal it wasn't 
uh, yeah, well, to, to the liberal office on Wellington Street. Unbelievable. Yeah. And the security guard had just closed the door. So, is there another office? Hey folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.